Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Prehistoric Sea Monster A truly terrifying creature was recently discovered far north in the Atlantic Ocean. In the frozen island group of Svalbard, a place where the land is covered in ice, scientists identified the fossilized remains of a prehistoric sea monster. This thing had jaws so big and so powerful it could have easily eaten modern killer whales for breakfast. Its flippers were so large they looked like airplane wings. The ancient predator was 45 feet from the tip of its snout to the end of its tail, maybe even bigger. Scientists have nicknamed the long extinct animal the monster. After the fossilized remains were extracted from the frozen rock, they were taken to the Natural History Museum at the University of Oslo. There, researchers tested the bones and made all their scientific observations. They finally confirmed that the animal lived in the Jurassic period 150 million years ago. It was a marine reptile, perhaps one of the biggest to ever roam the seas. Curator of the museum, Patrick Drunkenmiller, called it one of the largest plesiosaur specimens ever found. The plesiosaur was the most dangerous ocean predator of their time. It had a body kind of like a teardrop and propelled itself through the water using two pairs of monstrous flippers. They ate fish, squid, and even their own relatives. They would gobble up pretty much anything they could, whenever they could. What's especially interesting about this particular species is that it was found 800 miles from the North Pole. Researchers excavated the remains in the summer, during the short window before winter made the region impossible to navigate. The presence of such beasts so close to the North Pole proves that during prehistoric times, things were a lot warmer. Things were so warm, there was likely no ice here at all. Number 9. Alien Technology in the Arctic UFOlogists have made some pretty outlandish claims recently. It appears the Russian army may have discovered secret alien technology buried underneath the Arctic. Russian military personnel allegedly had unusual encounters near the North Pole. Officers picked up signals while performing covert missions for the government. Captain Prikhotko, the leader of recent Russian Arctic operations, allegedly witnessed unidentified objects moving freely beneath the Antarctic ice during reconnaissance. These objects were like highly advanced submarines. The captain believed them to be from aliens because no modern technology can attain such speeds while under solid ice. The captain also claimed that his entire platoon witnessed these strange objects, corroborating his story. It's difficult to say how much of this story is true. Prikodko may be making the whole thing up, or he really did witness something unimaginable. At this point, all we have for proof is the captain's word, and the reports from ufologists who believe it. Do you believe the captain's story? Tell me in the comments and be sure to subscribe while you're at it. Number 8. Icy Microbes While investigating glaciers on the Tibetan Plateau, scientists discovered never-before-seen microbes. They came across over 900 species of microbes trapped inside the ice that science never even knew about. Recent analysis of the new discovery has shown many have the potential to create fresh global pandemics. If the ice continues melting, these microbes could be released from their cold prisons to wreak havoc on human society. The ice samples were taken from 21 glaciers by researchers working with the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The Tibetan Plateau is a region in Asia located between the high peaks of the Himalayan mountains and the Taklamakan Desert. The research team looked at the genomes of the microscopic organisms locked inside the ice samples. The samples included mostly bacteria, but also some types of fungi and algae. It came as a big surprise when 98% of the species were totally new to science. Nobody had expected such a huge level of microbial diversity. It was shocking that such a large assortment of dormant microbes could be hiding in blocks of ice so close to melting. When the ice melts, it flows into the ground, into rivers, and ends up being ingested by animals and people. We don't know how old the microbes are. Some appear to have been in the ice for about 10,000 years. Given the rate at which the planet appears to be warming, it might not be long before all the ice in the mountains of Tibet melts. 
releasing thousands of potentially dangerous microbes into the environment. And on that note, it's time for number seven. But first, I want to give a big shout out to Brandy and Julian Banda. Thanks so much for watching and supporting Origins Explained. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. We'd love to have you. Number seven, whalebone mask. The Aleutian Islands of Alaska are located between Russia and Alaska in the frigid north of our planet. The islands have 57 volcanoes, making them the northernmost part of the Pacific Ocean's ring of fire. They have some shocking geography, but also some shocking ancient history. Early humans have been living here since the very first man and woman crossed the Bering Strait into North America. Scientists even believe that some of the earliest human settlements here were submerged by rising waters at the end of the Ice Age. When Russian explorers and traders began arriving in the 18th century, the indigenous population took a beating. Many were forced to become Christians and forsake their ancient traditions. People had been living here for thousands of years, hunting, fishing, and thriving, despite the brutally cold temperature. Then Europeans came and suddenly their way of life was disrupted. But every now and again, researchers find some small piece of prehistory in the islands. One of the most unusual recent discoveries was a whalebone mask excavated from a settlement 3,000 years old. Plenty of wooden masks have been found throughout coastal Alaska, but bone is extremely rare. Nobody knows what exactly the mask was used for, but best guess it likely played an important role in a ritual ceremony. Number 6. Mummified Bear Yet another terrifying beast from prehistory has been found frozen in the Siberian permafrost. This time, it's a mummified brown bear, one that lived about 3,500 years ago. It was discovered in February of 2023, and so scientists are still busy trying to conduct an autopsy to find out more about the bear's last days on Earth. The remains were found by some local deer herders on Bolshoi Lyakovsky Island. The body parts were already fossilized because they had been stuck in the permafrost for thousands of years, like a piece of meat stuck in an eternal freezer. Maxim Cheprasov from the Lazarev Mammoth Museum Laboratory in Siberia used the opportunity to study the internal organs and brain of the ancient animal. Scientists learned it was a female, measuring only about 5 feet tall and weighing little more than 170 pounds. This was a far cry from many of the scariest prehistoric bears that went extinct after the Ice Age. The truth is that it was the bear's small stature that likely allowed it to survive the end of the Ice Age. It was smaller and didn't need as much food as the much larger animals, and was able to secure itself a stable place in the environment. Researchers believe this particular brown bear died from a spinal injury between the ages of 2 and 3. Number 5. Otzi's Axe 5,350 years ago, give or take a few years, a man took a journey high into the mountains along the border of Italy and Austria. This individual was wounded by an arrow to his left shoulder, and he had been in a physical altercation shortly before. Scientists believe he fled his attackers and tried to escape. Unfortunately for this prehistoric man, he didn't make it very far. He died in those mountains. He was frozen in the snow and remained a human icicle until he was discovered in 1991 by some hikers. They thought he was a recently deceased mountaineer, totally oblivious they had just found a frozen caveman. The caveman became known as Otzi because he was discovered in the Otsal Alps. In the years since he was found, Otzi has helped scientists learn things about prehistory that would have otherwise been impossible. But let's forget about Otzi himself for a minute. Archaeologists also found a copper axe with a wooden handle lying near him. This was his Malay weapon, found alongside some arrow shafts that had yet to be fitted with flint tips. The copper used to craft the axe came from southern Tuscany. It shows obvious signs of wear, meaning it got used a lot for cutting and chopping. But this wasn't just a weapon and a tool, it was also a status symbol. Prehistoric humans often didn't walk around with such impressive artifacts. This thing is proof that he had a high station in life. Otzi's axe was a luxury item. It would be like finding someone dead in the street with a Rolex. He must have had some serious wealth. 
But this only adds to the mystery of what Otzi was doing in the Otsal Alps. We still don't know who he was, who he was running from, or why he risked freezing to death. Number 4. Antarctic Ice and Martian Soil Researchers have discovered a mineral in an ice core sample taken from Antarctica. This mineral is important because it's a fairly common ingredient found in Martian soil. The mineral is a substance called gerocyte, and it's been identified on both Earth and on Mars. Finding it trapped in Antarctic ice is a huge step in learning more about Mars for one main reason. Gerocyte is created when dust gets trapped inside an ice deposit and slowly breaks down. What this means is that since the mineral was found on Mars, Mars must have at one point had huge icy glaciers. If there was water on Mars once, there could still be water there now. This supports the theory that underneath the surface of the red planet are frozen lakes and oceans. Gerocyte was found on Mars for the first time in 2004 by NASA. It made headlines back then because scientists already knew gerocyte requires water to form and now the same mineral has been found deep within the Antarctic ice. This was a place nobody expected to find it since previously gerocyte has mostly been found in piles of mining waste. It's been taken from deep inside the Earth and then dumped out in the trash during mining operations. Only a few specks of the substance were found in Antarctica, pieces smaller than an eyelash or even a grain of sand. But that's only because Antarctica isn't very dusty. Mars, on the other hand, is covered in dust. It explains why gerocyte has been so easy to find on Mars. Number 3. A Pyramid in Antarctica There is a mountain in Antarctica that looks suspiciously like a pyramid. It could be the most famous mountain on the internet, with countless theories trying to explain its origins. Some believe the mountain is in reality an artificial pyramid left behind by a prehistoric civilization. These theories claim the mountain is only the tip of a much larger pyramid, one whose body is hidden under hundreds of feet of ice and snow. Others speculate the pyramid was created by aliens and that it was used as a giant battery focusing the natural energies of the Earth to power their spaceships. This theory may sound outrageous, but you just never know. There are enough mysteries in this world that we shouldn't dismiss the possibility of a lost civilization covered in ice. After all, explorers only found Antarctica a little more than a century ago. But not everyone believes the hype. Professor of Earth System Science Eric Rignot says the mountain is just a mountain. He says many mountain peaks look like pyramids. It's not that big of a deal. The mountain, which doesn't have a formal name, is part of the Ellsworth Mountains. They were found by Lincoln Ellsworth in 1935. And, to be entirely fair, a lot of the mountains do kind of look like pyramids. What do you think? Let me know in the comments! Number 2. Ancient Ice Skating Human beings have been gliding over frozen waters for at least 5,000 years. Scientists have found evidence of ancient ice skating in Scandinavia and Russia going back to the end of the Stone Age. It's believed the very first manufacturers of ice skates were people living in Finland. Finland happens to have more frozen lakes than any other part of the world, so it makes sense that people needed a way to cross them in the winter. Using ice skates would have saved at least 10% of a person's energy compared to walking. And in prehistoric times, speed and convenience was a big deal. There is an ancient set of ice skates on display at the Museum of London that were made from solid bone. This was the norm up until 1250 when the Dutch created metal skates. Then, by around the 15th century, skating had become a recreational activity. The world's first skating club was introduced in Scotland in 1742. The first official speed skating event was held in 1863 in Norway. Although, it is important to note that starting around 960 AD during the Song Dynasty, ruling families in China also started ice skating for fun. Number 1. The Only Baby Rhino The only baby woolly rhinoceros in the world is named Sasha. This creature was discovered frozen in the Siberian permafrost in 2014. Just a few years later, the well-preserved prehistoric youngster was embalmed and put on display in Moscow. 
It is by far one of the most incredible Ice Age animals literally encased in ice that's ever been found. Sasha was born in what is now the Siberian region of Yakutia 34,000 years ago. Even after all these years, Sasha still has its thick, curly, strawberry blonde hair. Aside from the horn, it wouldn't have looked much different from the modern rhinos we see in Africa. According to the scientists who analyzed its teeth, Sasha was only seven months old when it died. It, despite being only seven months old, it was the same size as a modern 18-month-old African rhinoceros. What this means is that the woolly rhinos of the Arctic tundra were significantly larger and more terrifying. At seven months, it was already growing an impressive horn. But there is still a lot we don't know. Scientists weren't able to figure out if the rhino was a boy or a girl because the internal organs had already rotted. Still, after putting the ancient beast back together again, researchers were able to create the only authentic taxidermy of a baby woolly rhino. Thanks for watching! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time!